Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and a viewer sent me this clip art, or it's really cleaned up. It's this good, smooth um, vector file, but he wanted to put a hairline around it to cut it out, and this was his hairline. It's not complete, so there's his problem right there, so I'm going to just delete that, and for the viewer that i do doing this for, he had his nudge duplicate distance set on 0.25, so when you made a duplicate, it jumped up. And you don't need that in this case. You need to make a duplicate right on top. So I've got mine set on zero, zero. Now this fish is about almost 19 inches. So I have my nudge distance set on 20. I'm going to control D and make a duplicate and move it over. Now I'm going to take the original. I'm going to go up to range. I'm going to break the curve apart. It's going to make it all black, which is a good thing because now it's all kind of filled in. And this is where he made, made his mistake because there's maybe some breaks in here. Then I'm going to put an outline. I'm going to move over that 20 inches. I'm going to left click on no fill. Now I'm just going to delete this original one. And you can see all the broken parts. Then all you have to do is nudge over twice the 40 inches and you have a cut line around your fish. Complete. Now with that said, you've got some little parts here. So I wouldn't quite cut on the line, and what I would do is go to Effects, Contour, Contour to the outside. Let's go 0 .009. Let's just see what that looks like. It's going to give it just a little bit of a contour. My computer is acting a little slow this morning. We're going to zoom in here. That's not much of a difference. Let's go... Uh, 0 0.09 leave out that zero now that's probably too much but I don't for the video purposes it's going to make these parts of his fin a lot thicker go up to a range and break contour apart and then try to grab the inside one and move it down you should have the red one go down and it's because I've got mine set on treat as field now I can grab the black I'm going to go ahead and make it red so I can see it and then move it over that 20 inches. So now you have a little bit of wood showing around the engraving and if that's too much, uh, make it a little less. But that's going to look good and it's going to keep these parts strong because we're, that black line is less than a quarter of an inch and you can always do this by the, or it's less than an eighth of an inch and this is probably a little bit more than a quarter of an inch. That's 0.26. So that's a that's a good place to start. Whoop, I didn't mean to do that. But anyway, I hope that helped him a little bit. And thank you for watching.